Why did you leave football? Yeah, see, the longer it is since you play, people kind of start to do revisionist history on your behalf, and it's always good. They go, oh, why'd you retire? I didn't retire, I, I got sacked because I wasn't good enough. And that's fine, but it's pretty brutal because you're like, don't have a contract. We've just drafted a couple of halfbacks. Um, this isn't looking good. And then you get the call into the office and it'll be like the general manager of footy and blah, blah, blah. And they just basically say, we're not gonna renew your contract. Good luck. Um, and that's it. I basically just got shown the door and I was an athlete, so I knew how to walk out. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. But yeah, it's, um, it's pretty brutal. Can you remember what that felt like when, you, when you're in your mid-20s and you feel gutted. as though you've failed at a career that you were working so hard towards? Oh, I was gutted. Yeah, it took me, it took me years to get over because, yeah, I was like, fuck, I've wasted eight years of my life. The other thing that you're sold on, especially in sport, you know, like it's like every single sporting biography you read basically is like, yeah, it was tough, but then I trained hard and I overcame it all. And now I'm a superstar. Like, that's basically the character arc of every single player. You're sold on this dream where it's like, if you work hard and try your best, it'll work out. Mm. And it doesn't always work out. But a little bit more, more perspective now that I'm a bit older, it's, it's fine. Um, and it's fine to fail. Was there a turning point where you realised that? Where you're okay with failure? Probably when I started commentating. Because I was like, oh yeah, I'm like, there are actually other things that I'm good at. Big congratulations again to the great Tony Armstrong. Tony Armstrong. Tony Armstrong. Joint erupted. And the TV Week Logie goes to... Tony, Tony Armstrong! Armstrong! Because until then, I, I knew I, I was all right at talking crap, but I didn't realise that you could monetise it. <laughs> <laughs> is that what commentary is called? <laughs> you, you, don't tell them. <laughs> Australian skipper Tim Payne has a bulging dick that has been... Disc that has been... That's a funny one. Bulging what? Disc. Disc. I said disc. That's what, that's what I thought you said. But, yeah, like, it's just... I didn't realise how many different ways you can, you know, have a career and, you know, feel good about yourself with what you're doing and put food on the table. Now I've just got to do my job, I guess. Yeah! 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 Yeah!